I literally can't believe it's October. What? Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is the beginning of a new month and you know what that means? I'm sharing with you my monthly favorites today. I was gathering everything I needed for this video earlier and it really made me realize just how much I shop at Amazon. So you'll find that I want to say like 90% of the stuff that I'm going to show you today that are my favorites for September it's all from Amazon, most of it. I'm gonna start with the random stuff first. That first random thing is gonna be this puzzle. This is from Amazon. It is a, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be like different pictures of seed packages. It's a thousand piece puzzle. My mom and I put it together in like two days. Granted, we did spend a lot of time on it, but for a thousand pieces, it was pretty easy. I feel like we're going like back to the beginning of like quarantine days by like doing puzzles again. But you know what? It's been kind of smoky here lately. We haven't really been wanting to go outside. So a puzzle has been a nice alternative rather than like watching TV or reading a book or something. And we can sit and chit chat while we do it. So that was a really fun thing. I think she's gonna buy the next puzzle and we're gonna just start puzzling together in the evenings maybe. My next favorite is this new yoga mat that I got. Um, I have not gone to an actual gym since the beginning of this virus, like when they initially shut down all the gyms and everything. I haven't been back ever since. Um, I used to work out at our apartment gym and then we moved in with my parents. And honestly, I don't see myself joining a gym anytime soon just because we don't know what part of town we're gonna be living in. We're kind of just keeping all of our options open as far as location of where our house is gonna be because then there's more options to choose from while we're shopping, which by the way, we have started shopping for a house, but that's a subject for a different video. Um, but I got this new yoga mat and the one I was using before this was maybe like a quarter as thick as this new one is and it has like changed my life. It Working out is so much more comfortable with an actual like mat underneath you and honestly my old mat was just so worn. I think I had that one for like five years and you could literally see like on both ends of the mat where my feet would normally go when I'm working out. So getting a new yoga mat was long overdue and I am so glad that I finally just bit the bullet and bought a new one. They're not expensive, especially if you buy one on Amazon and they last a pretty long time. I don't know why I put it off. For forever. If you watched my last video a couple weeks ago, this one next item isn't going to be much of a surprise to you, but it is my brush cleaning mat. If you watch that video, for those you'll know what this is about. But if you haven't watched it, let me tell you, I literally didn't clean my makeup brushes for close to two years, I think. And then I bought this brush cleaning mat game changer i can wash my brushes in like a quarter of the time not even half the time shorter than that and i just feel so much more motivated to clean my makeup brushes when i know it's not going to take up 30 minutes of my evening okay this next item is kind of gross but you know what last month we talked about shaving faces this month we're gonna talk about scraping your heels and this is also from amazon by the way the last couple things everything so far has been from amazon but I bought this a year ago and I thought I would maybe use it a couple times. With wearing sandals all summer, I haven't really been motivated to get a pedicure this summer because like you have to wear a mask and I don't know, it's just it's not the same experience as before all of this started. So I just haven't done it. And you know, sometimes your heels just need a little TLC. For some reason, September was the month that I decided to get more into hair accessories. Um, my hair's in a bun, but it's um, with a scrunchie that has a little bow on it. How fun. So I want to show you some of my favorite hair things that I've got this month and some that I've had for a while, but I've just started using a lot this month. And for some reason, I'm just like really into that right now. Um, these scrunchies i'm sure you've seen these but you can buy like a big pack of them on amazon and they come in different patterns i have some long ones and then i have like short little bow one and then i have like the regular scrunchies like that are like the felt ones but i mean everyone has those i think the next thing still hair accessory related are these little headbands they're fuzzy they came in like a pack of five on Amazon and I, I think these were literally like, it was five bucks for the whole pack. 
but I love wearing these in the morning while I'm working from home. I start my mornings when I'm working from home working in my pajamas and then I like switch into regular clothes around 10 o'clock. Um, so I like putting my hair back in these, plus I love putting my hair back when I'm getting ready, obviously. Um, I used to put my hair up just with a scrunchie when I'm getting ready, but my like scalp has been very sensitive lately. I don't know why. Is that part of me getting old? I don't know. I didn't used to have this problem. All I can tell you is it has become an issue for me like over the past year. My head starts to hurt after a little while of having my hair up in a bun or even a ponytail. So I like having a headband option. Honestly, sometimes after a while wearing these, I just need to let it down. I think there's something behind that. I'm looking into it. If I find any answers, I'll let you know. But long story short, these have come in handy and they're so cute. I mean, with the little bow, are you kidding me? In different patterns. The next and final hair accessory I have to show you today are these barrettes. They're like pearls. They come in like, again, these are from Amazon. It came in a pack of big chunky barrettes and then we just have these skinnier hairpins and they all just have different sizes of pearls on them and kind of in different patterns too. I think these are so cute. Like if you put your hair back in a ponytail, you can just put one on the side or if you wanna pin your hair back in, out of your face. So cute, so fun, so simple. And also I like that these are functional. These are easy to use. I am not like good at doing hair. I don't have like a bunch of different hairstyles that I rotate through. So things like these make it easy for me to switch up my normal routine and they're so cute. And honestly, kind of perfect for fall. The last hair item, this isn't a hair accessory, but it's a rat tail, rat tooth, rat tail comb. Um, this came in a pack of three on Amazon. I used to have one and then we went to a wedding in Georgia and all of a sudden I didn't have one anymore. So I had to order um, a new one and for some reason I could only find a pack of like three on Amazon and it had to be pink, obviously. Um, but I love these for parting my hair and also if you're trying to do like more of a like sleek bun or a ponytail, I like using combs like this. And honestly, it's kind of nice that they came in a pack of three so I can keep one at my makeup table, I keep one in the bathroom, and then I have like a backup one in case I lose one. I use these probably every day. Next thing on my favorites list for September are nail polish. Um, I have this darker purple shade, which I like to start using once fall hits. I don't know, it's just, it's like bluish purple, kind of spooky themed, you know? I like painting my toes with this, but closer to Halloween, I'll paint my actual fingernails with this. And then I have like a lighter pink shade. It's kind of like a transitional into fall shade, I like to think. Um, I might break out this color probably around this time every year. And it is in the shade All the Hot Spots. And the dark purple is the shade Tomorrow Never Die. Well, I guess that's fitting for being kind of spooky. I want to share with you one of my favorite pairs of leggings. I have these in navy and black, but these are from Aerie. They just say chill, play, move on the back. I forget which ones they're called, but they're like super stretchy, but kind of like buttery soft material. I actually think I'm going to buy another pair of the same style of leggings from Aerie this year. They have some new ones that are like the faux leather leggings and the, the Spanx faux leather leggings are like all the rage right now and I've heard that the airy ones are like a good dupe for those so I'm really interested in trying those and seeing if they're as cute in person as everyone um, hypes them up to be. These are the leggings that I literally wore like all year last year and I've already started wearing them all the time this year. I mean it's still like in the low 80s high 70s here so we're not in like full fall mode yet. As we're transitioning into fall I have to share my jean jacket. Um, this is actually from Ross. I bought it last year, but um, I bought it from the men's section and it was like $20 and I bought it in a size small, but it's very loose and oversized. And I just have to say, 
The women's section can be so annoying to shop in for like things like jackets because they just make everything so fitted. But I can wear a sweater underneath this and I won't feel like it's too tight in my shoulders and my arms. And it's just so comfortable and honestly you can throw this on over most things and it just makes your outfit look so much more put together. I actually wore it over this shirt today even though it was like 85 degrees outside. It is fall in my mind so if I want to dress like it's fall I'm going to okay? The last thing I have to show Share with you is a organization item. I don't know. Let's just get into it. It is felt hangers. I bought a pack of 50 of these from Amazon and it was like $20. Great deal. And I'm slowly trying to transition out all of our plastic hangers and go fully into felt hangers, but it's a process and I'm not trying to spend a ton of money on organizing a closet right now because we don't even know what our closet situation is going to be in our new house but I just wanted to slowly start the process and in introducing these into our closet so it'll be easier to make the full transition down the road. I think I'm just slowly gonna buy packs of these every once in a while and just switch out hangers as I feel like it. And when we get new stuff, I'll just automatically put it on a felt hanger. And that sums up my September favorites. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time, okay? Okay, bye.